Hello, and welcome to our show. We have a very special program for you today. Our guest's name is Cameron. Here, hi, Cameron. Hi. I hear you're into movies. Um, could you tell me your favorite movie? Uh, one of my favorite movies is um, Transformers, the um, fourth one. It's full of action, packed, and m one of my favorite parts is when the rocket gets shot into the house and it doesn't explode. That's nice. Do you have um, any other favorite movies? Yeah, um, it's Star Wars The Force Awakens, one of the newest movies that just came out. Uh, it's cool. I like the special effects with the lightsabers, the Force, and all the other like Star Wars related um, facts. Um, that's nice. Could you tell me anything more about that movie? Um, the, the movie itself is really good. There was a lot of um, Easter eggs that I found, but most of them we haven't seen in most movies. Like when Kylo Ren stops the um, laser in midair, that was one of my favorite parts. It was pretty cool, and it was nice to see how the Force can be used. Interesting. Um, I hear you, you like sports. Can you tell me your favorite sport? Um, one of my favorite sports is football. And football is pretty good. It's just a lot of injuries, um, concussions, um, bone breaking, and action packed. It's cool, and it's not like fake. It's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to play, and it's fun to play with your friends. It's nice. Do you have a favorite player that plays in the NFL? Um, one of my favorite players are I have two. It's Rob Gronkowski and um Tom Brady. It's nice. Now, do you play any sports? Uh, yeah, I play baseball. I don't play football. I don't know why, but it's just, I just don't want to get hurt or because I'm, I just don't want to get like concussions or break a bone or some or like break your leg, break my leg. And that's a word from Cameron. Good night, folks. Welcome to our show. We have a very special program for you today. Our guest is named Olivia, and we are pleased to have her with us. What brings you to our show today, Olivia? Well, um, I was here because I heard that somebody wanted to do an interview, and I was offering to do it. Okay. Tell us, tell our viewers about yourself. Well, I like using Legos, and I do a lot of Irish step dancing. They're both really fun. I have many pets. One donkey, two pigs, um, one rooster, three bunnies, two cats, one dog, um, and so far that's it. All right, so you said you like Legos? Mm hmm What was the hardest Lego set to build and how many do you have? Well, I don't know how many I have, I kind of have a lot, but the hardest one, and I'm still working on it, is the Ender Dragon Minecraft set. Okay, how many pieces is it, do you know? Not really. Not really? A lot? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so, and you also said that you do Irish step dancing? Mm-hmm. So what was your hardest performance? Well, our hardest performance was the day at um, Drake at Home Days, because um, our line leader, the person that was leading us into line for the bows after Cod and I Joe, um, she fell off the stage when she wasn't dancing and um, she had to leave. And so we didn't know what to do after that part. Interesting. So I just stopped dancing. So how many performances have you done? How long have you been doing it? Well, um, I don't know how 
many performances that I've done, but I do remember I started in, I um, think, 2012, and I quit for one reason. My feet were hurting me, and um, I started back in 2015 or 14, and they said that I was there for one year at um, Pelham one day when I was there for a minute for a few years and but um so yeah all right so what's your favorite thing to do besides legos and air step dancing well i do like going down to the beach a lot for summer vacation it's very fun there especially when there's big waves crashing on the beach yes it is very fun what's your favorite movie and why um pixels because um Kubrick in one part did this, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was funny on that part. I like Hubert. So I take it it was a very funny movie? It was. How good did you see that? Um, it was just last night. Oh wow. Who is your favorite singer and why? Taylor Swift because one of her songs to South in 2008 called Love Story was one of my most favorites because it was based off a Shakespeare play called Romeo and Juliet. So that gives me the impression you like plays and theater also? Mm hmm Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so there are rumors spreading around that the Drake and Access television studios are haunted. What are your thoughts about this and do you believe that it is true? Well, I kind of not believe and I kind of do believe it because one day when I was walking down the hallway to go to the bathroom one day, um, I thought I saw something in the hallway that was all black and wavy, and I panicked a little, and my mom was filming her show, so I, when I panicked a little, I regretted trying to use the bathroom, and so I thought uh, maybe I could wait until we get home. It could have been somebody pulling a prank, but then of course, it could have been a ghost. No one really knows. Honestly, I do not believe this, because ghosts aren't real. It's just a story, so I don't believe this. All right, folks, I think that's all, ta all the time we have time for. I want to thank our guests for being here, and I want to thank all of you for watching. So, uh, good night. Hello, Drake It, and welcome to DATV News. I'm your news anchor, Gavin. We have some incredible breaking news. As you may already know, the Mill Street building we are broadcasting from is supposedly haunted by a ghost. Our field reporter, Brian, has an exclusive interview with someone who had a face-to-face -face encounter with the Mill Street ghost. Over to you, Brian. Thanks, Gavin. I'm here at Mill City building with Olivia, and she claims that she saw a ghost. Olivia, could you tell us about what happened in this Mill City hallway? Well, my mom was going to film her show at the studio, but she dropped some important papers for her show, so she told me to pick it up. And when I went out into the hall to grab her papers, something strange happened. I heard a strange noise behind me. I remember from my game Yokai Watch that if I don't look behind me, it'll go away. Apparently, it didn't. So when I looked behind me, it was a big, there was a ghost right behind me. I panicked a lot. Olivia, could you tell us about what time you saw this ghost? It was possibly past 11.30 or something like that. Also, could you tell us um, what this ghost looked like? Well, it was black. It looked like a big green reaper, and that's pretty much what it looked like. Thank you. That is our word from Olivia, and Olivia will keep you posted. 
We're going to try to experiment here at DATV News. We are going to leave the cameras rolling to see if we can catch the mysterious ghost. Back to you, Gavin. Thanks for that report, Brian. We will see if our camera records any unusual activity and we'll report back soon. Hello, folks. How many times have you woken up only to realize that you slept through your alarm clock? Are you running out of excuses to give your teacher for being late to school? Do you find yourself falling asleep in class? Think, think you've had enough? For the low, low price of 1995, you can receive the Dawn Reader. This space age alarm clock will wake you up with a hot cocoa, soothing music, flashing lights, and best of all, your, your trademark energizer, which sends a jolt of electric current through your mattress. So friends make even rainy Monday mornings fun by calling operators today. You will receive your Dawn Reader handbook with complete instructions on how to use your Dawn Reader. All this for a low, amazing price of $19.95. Call us now at M-O-R-N-I-N-G to place your order. Don't miss the opportunity to, to improve the worst part of your day. Call now, M-O-R-N-I-N-G, and stop snoring your days away. Thank you. We have proof that the Mill Street ghost exists and is auditioning for The Voice. Wait till you see what our camera recorded. Hello? Is this thing on? Oh, oh, it is. Hi, Mom. Uh, I've always wanted to audition for The Voice. All right, all right. Ready? I'm going to start in three, two, one. Hello from the other side. I ate your pizza pie. What, what do you guys think of that? I get to meet Blake Shelton. All right, I'm gonna go now. Hello, my name is Alex, and my favorite part about kids camp was learning about the green screen. My name is Brian, and my favorite part of TV camp was learning how to make TV. Hi, I'm Gavin, and my favorite part about TV camp was being a newscaster. Hi, my name's Olivia, and my favorite part when I was at TV camp was when I made some brand new friends. Hi, I'm Cameron, and the best part of kids' TV camp was being the director. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I'll go, you don't need to go recording now. You don't need to go recording now. 